no flagging dog. Been snapping dog. And on Zeta to the feet up, I be zigzagging dog. You know, I told y'all about Little Baby and Amigos beef over a year ago, but y'all ain't want to hear it. Every time when you tell people information, people act like you got something personal or some animosity or you biased. Bro, I don't know the Migos or Lil Baby from a can in the paint, my nigga. I'm a journalist in this hip hop shit. Folks in them give me real information, not just regular supporters giving me. I'm talking about people who are actually, you know what I'm saying, partner, like people who cool with these folks. People who eat with them and people, if y'all only know the, the in crowd, I ain't get these numbers on YouTube. Just waking up making fake videos and he say she say i got some more information but I'm, I'm just more talking my little shit right quick you dig what i'm saying like the one who they can't stand the most is take off and offset you know what i mean they try to make quivo immediate it i mean quavo i say quivo <laughs> hey quavo my bad king but a lot of people understand that quavo was the how you say it properly? He was the ambassador of the gang. You know what I mean? Of the group. My bad. I can't let call these niggas a gang. But he was the ambassador who bridged the gap and made peace. He got along with everybody. But you do know Offset is that, 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 that angry type of rapper. You know what I mean? That angry type of regular human being. Meaning that you're going to snap off and anytime somebody say something to you. So Offset bridge the gap he played all, a lot of these dice games and i'm not gonna go too deep on that but i'm hearing rumors from the dice game incident you know i'm mean, all the way to him allegedly being stripped naked you know what i mean i'm gonna say alleged for that part for police situations we know that was 42 dug in them allegedly with little baby you know four pound in them and shit so and a lot of it didn't look good when the Migos also called out their own label. You call they're gonna say they called out the lawyer, but they they call Coach K and P. But the lawyer represents Coach K and P. He works for them. So if y'all money being stolen or missing, then who's it coming from? I personally rock with QC. I ain't gonna do what the Migos did. I think the QC made dreams happen for a lot of black dudes out here. We need the QC. Ain't you don't see too many labels like that out here no more. You don't see the Dev Jams no more. With bad boys still here. I mean, not Def Jam, but Def Row no more. Bad boys is still here, but it ain't the same bad boys like it was back in the 90s. We don't see the Arista Records, LaFace Records, you know, these black labels and record companies, gang, like that represented us because the Migos is more of a management company. More, they're bigger than what a label is. They're more going to steer you to the right place for a certain percentage. And you're going to get that stardom you're looking for. There's a lot of niggas hating on them, but it is what it is. Now, with Lil Baby, he done took over the whole camp, the whole shit. Shout out that baby that me. I'm with that nigga all day. I'm with that baby, baby, baby. Real niggas all in my face. But, hey, what you know about? When, when he came out with his hit, bruh, it's just I knew from that one song, my nigga, it was a rap. He had the Migo style. Like, you know how bad that gotta be? A nigga surpassed y'all with y'all own style. A nigga took the wave of what y'all had going with y'all own style. Them folks, don't know, ain't nobody even really even looking for a Migo track like that no more. I don't even think dudes is knocking their doors for features unless if you an upcoming artist or celebrity, bruh. Let's just keep it real, bruh. Baby is the A right now. Lil Baby done took over, bruh. That what was y'all world? I feel like y'all should have been more humble, my nigga, because these fans be picking size. I don't pick size. I still listen to the Migos. I mean, like, these, I'm talking from the perspective of the industry. Like, I rock with the Migos. It's straightening. You know, everything they do is a good ass music, bro, but people is fist, fistle fuzzle. They're going to pick their size for longevity and what they like the most. And clearly, what they see from y'all is not level-headed shit that they can rock with, bro. I'm just keeping it real, bro. I ain't even trying to start no beef, bro. And then you look at the personal beef when you got a large entourage. Not everybody's part of the go get along. Everybody ain't gonna like each other. So Lil Baby done turned up his own way. Niggas think Lil Baby is just some, he's like a weak dude who's just a face. He's the mascot. Nah, the, the nigga Lil Baby really out here, bro. No disrespect to Offset and doing his. You know, Offset is a GD for real, though. Offset is a real one. You know, Quavo is a real one. Takeoff is a real one. I would never take somebody's street credit or this and that. I'm just letting you know what it is. 
Other niggas is more real and more submitted than what you feel you are and shit like that. Niggas ain't gonna take that disrespectful shit. You know what I mean? Cause Lil Baby was cool with Quavo and Young Thug. He wasn't cool with Offset and take off like that. So when certain things start happening behind the scenes, niggas only can take so much. From everything I've heard, niggas waited for their own time to shine because they seen niggas not being humble. They seen niggas little brother talking them down. Niggas trying to big boy talk them. They seen niggas trying to act like you didn't exist when they were on. So now you on, you gonna shit on them niggas, bro. You don't, you don't care what nigga got going on. I sit back and I look at the little baby smart, bro. He done gave you a political record with that BLM thing he got going on, even though I don't support BLM. I support us. I don't support organizations. I ain't gonna get into that. You can get mad if you want to, but don't tell me I'm gonna sell out. I support us. So you know what I mean? For us, by us. Organizations that don't really defend us and support us, I don't do the gold get along. But Lil Baby did a great music behind that. He's linking up with Durkio and him. He's networking with everybody you could name that we already respect. So he did it the right way. And then he, he done network with all these Florida rappers, man. Shout out to Hot Boy, Free Hot Boy right quick. Free the Glock Nines and all these guys. He networking with the right, bro. He make the South the South. You know, I ain't trying to hate, but I ain't acting like Migos and them don't be networking and all that. But we do see when certain niggas in the South act like they divas. You know, we always criticize New York and we say, oh, New York need to be like the South. Everybody get along with everybody. Oh, look at Atlanta. They all make music together. Look at Florida. They all, niggas, stop it, bro. Go live in these cities and states. Niggas be beefing for real, bro. Niggas be staining each other out the way. Niggas be low-key dreaming, especially messages that I got from celebrities with blue checks. I ain't going to go deep on that and tell y'all who, but niggas low-key can't wait for your downfall. <laughs> Facts. Big facts get you out the way and they get that emptiness space, even though it's money for everybody to eat. But we know we hate each other, educational purpose. We got a disdain for each other. Niggas want to see each other get out the way. So who knows how much of a diva offset was acting like. He done linked up with Cardi B and they already was going sky high. They were the top rappers everywhere. I mean, you couldn't pay for Amigos feature. That's how lit they were. Now these dudes is on a discount. Discount for this, a track probably used to be 200,000. Nigga, for the 50 racks, you could get this. Now, who knows, bro? It just is an uncomfortable position to see these guys were the Beatles of hip hop, and now it's like, huh? They couldn't tie the shoes of Lil Baby if they wanted to. Huh? It's like the headliners, Lil Baby. I don't even think the Migos are good to be the second headliners. There's a lot of other folks popping out here in the city, bro. So I don't think even Migos will be like, hey, they probably still charging a whole lot. I mean, get your bag, you know what I mean? But the offset situation, I've been told y'all. That's why I ain't going to too much details. If you want to see them details again, go to my channel, go to my videos and my playlist and, and type it in and just type the Migos and put I Smoke Hip Hop Live and, or put Lil Baby be an offset and put Osmo Hip Hop Live, I guarantee you'll see the receipts, bro. Like, I, I broke that case down to a T. It's just a situation where motherfuckers start looking at each other and remember the snake shit you did to them, bro. Niggas start remember the, the extra ways you acting or you didn't calm down your man when your man started popping on my bro and them down the mall. Niggas went to Linux and we ran into each other or niggas was fucking such and such baby mama and you ain't put a stop to this, bro. So shit went out of hand. We're gonna leave it at that. I ain't gonna go too deep on it. But niggas get the tweaking, bro. And just like when rich homie Quan started dating, you know, Lil um, Baby's baby mama, I ain't gonna get into that, but little things like that, hey, rich homie, I, I salute you, homie, bro. I, I, it's kind of sad I don't see the level at top of greatness you was in, too, but I heard the same thing about you, too. You wasn't being humble, and I gotta salute you. Unlike the Migos, rich homie Quan did enough videos where he explained it was his fault, you know, doing weird dances and weird things, bro. He got himself out the game. I like seeing rappers like that as humble enough to admit it's my fault. Mama said it's my fault, it's my fault, I wear my heart on my sleeve, I wear my heart on my... <laughs> 
Shout out to Raw Wave, but you know what I'm saying? Stop wearing your emotions on your sleeves, gang. Start being more humble. Stop disrespecting other folks who might be in a lower position than you because you never know when you're going to need somebody or when you're going to see somebody boss up in front of you. Yeah, it's going to get you scared. Like, how the hell did folks in them just bossed up like that? Well, they stick, they stick to the code. They ain't start hating on each other. And look, little baby followed his dream. And he he's a one-man show and Amigos is three of them. You tell me who's banking more money. Them niggas gotta split that bag three ways. Lil Baby is getting more than what they're getting as a group, as together, so how much you think he doing? So he's well in a position to feed everybody. He's in a, a mayor's position, meaning that he got all the folks in them liking his wave and vibe. He got all the ladies. Probably got Cardi B jamming the Lil Baby songs, no pun intended, so it's a wild one, man, but I understand the situations, man. Look, all facts and no no gossip. We do real nigga with the spill over here. Do me a favor and hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. And come rock out with the most winningest team out here, man. Your boy, Bless One. Thank you for watching another video of Smoke Gang. I smoke hip hop live. Love your family. Love your kids. And stay blessed, gang. Do no flagging, dog. Been snapping, dog. And on Zeta to the feeder. I be zigzagging, dog.